you've been looking at an early trial of a, of a new treatment to use in metastatic castration resistant prostate cancer. Can you tell me what was the, the, the big topic that you needed to look at? What was the big issue? So, so cavacitaxel is a treatment that is approved for advanced prostate cancer. What we were looking at in this trial is one, whether the combination with abiraterone, that is another uh, approved drug for prostate cancer, is safe and whether it gives any benefit compared to using both drugs per separate. And the other is to understand if patients who have progressed to several lines of treatment still are able to respond to cavacitaxel. So what did you do in the study? So this, the first part of the study that was presented last year was giving patients increasing doses of cavacitaxel together with abiraterone to make sure that it was safe. Once we had this data, the second part, that is what we were presenting today, was to treat 26 patients with very advanced prostate cancer and give them cavacitaxel on the top of abiraterone. And what happened? So basically we observed that the response rate to the combination of abiraterone and cavacitaxel was very similar to the one that we have observed in prior studies of cavacitaxel. The difference is that these studies that led to the approval of cavacitaxel were performed in patients that had received less number of prior therapies just because they were not approved by that time. So that's reassuring that cavacitaxel activity remains high even after all these other treatments. So let me get this right, they'd already uh, had uh, androgen deprivation therapy Correct. So they, and they'd already had docetaxel. They already have had androgen deprivation, docetaxel and abiraterone. And then when they progress to the abiraterone, instead of uh, stopping the abiraterone and giving them another chemotherapy that would be the standard, we carry on with the abiraterone and we add on the top the chemotherapy. You have quite a small number of patients here, uh, but do you have a signal on efficacy? We do. I think. As I was saying, one thing that is very reassuring is to see that the fact that these patients are more sick and have had more treatments than the ones that confirm the original study of cavitaxel do not make a difference in terms of the possibilities of responding. And we are actually, we have collected a blood sample from these patients and the next stage is to study in these blood samples markers of resistance and sensitivity to both abiraterone and cavitaxel. What do you think doctors can learn from this at this point then? Well, I think that is a proof of concept that this combination is safe. So at some point years ago, uh, we all agree, all the medical community agree that after progression to, to first androgen deprivation, you have to continue the androgen deprivation throughout the life of the patient. So here we are testing if at some point we think there is a strong evidence to continue the abiraterone, as at the end of the day is also a castrating agent, is it safe to continue the abiraterone while you are adding other therapies, and at least for cavacitaxel it is. And how much do you think the carbazitaxel added on top of the action of the other cytotoxic that you will have used, docetaxel? Well, now all these patients have progressed to docetaxel before, sometimes a few months before, sometimes two or three years before. Okay, and we know that cavacitaxel is a drug that despite being very similar to docetaxel, works in patients that have progressed already to to the cetaxel. Mm. And, and now that there are more and more studies supporting moving the cetaxel earlier in the natural history of the disease, it is important that we get more evidence of how active are these other treatments in later stages. So what's the brief take home message for doctors? The brief message is one, cavacitaxel remains active in heavily pretreated patients and two, combining cavacitaxel and abiraterone does not lead to any overlapping toxicity or any drug-drug interaction that affects drug exposure.